Good morning, Hero Wars fans. Do your viewers enjoy Hero Wars? The operators of Hero Wars provide Hero Wars as a business, and we, the game users, play Hero Wars every day as a tool to enjoy our leisure time. With that in mind, let's enjoy playing Hero Wars. Now, today's topic is about the Kark team and how we can change our team composition. I would like to continue today's topic by showing you how I fought in the arena the other day. As viewers know, my team composition will be the Kark team, which includes Jurgen. In this formation, if Sebastian is on the enemy team, Jurgen's skills will be disabled and he won't be able to take advantage of his fighting abilities. So the project I'm working on is to flexibly change the heroes participating in the battle depending on the opponent's team composition. Hum? Because you're only supposed to have 5 heroes that are properly leveled up. That was until a few weeks ago, and now I have Kai, who is in the process of enhancing his artifacts and glyphs. I can't say that I've mastered Kai yet, but I do use Kai to activate Kark's skill number 3 in combat, and so far it's paying off in spades. If you are using Kark, you will probably level up Nebula or Sebastian as your 6th hero, but in my case, I decided to include Kai in my team. The advantage of including Kai in my team composition is that Kark's 3rd skill activates more often. Faceless is included in the team composition as Kark's partner, but if Faceless copies the skills of a hero other than Kark, he loses the opportunity to activate Kark's third skill. However, by including Kai in the team composition, even if Faceless copies Kai's skill 1, Fetters of the Wind, Kark's skill 3 will be activated, thus increasing the success rate of the attack. The advantage of having a second DPS is that you can create four different teaming patterns depending on your opponent. You can choose to replace Jurgen with Kai if the enemy team has Sebastian, or use Kark as a tank if the enemy team has no physical attack heroes. If you are playing against a higher ranked opponent, you may be surprised to find that you can win by removing Martha and adding Kai. As you can see, I'm in the process of researching this and that these days, trying to fight with somewhat fewer heroes. It's fun. I can manage to devise a way to fight with a limited number of heroes. Kai is an interesting hero because he also has vampirism ability, though he is a bit lesser than Nebula and Sebastian. I think this is a game that can be made as interesting as possible, since you can have 4 different attack patterns just by raising one hero. As a side note, I received a lot of suggestions for improving the game's interface in the comments section of the recent video. I received more than 20 suggestions for improving the game's interface in the comments section of my video channel, and I plan to compile them into a video in the future. The video I posted recently suggesting improvements to Hero Wars has already been sent to the Hero Wars Support Center. I received this response from Edward of Hero Wars, so maybe someday the chat feature in Pet Adventure will be improved. Now, it's time for the video to end. If you're a female user who fell in love with Edward from Hero Wars, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.